Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back for another video. Today I am back for another progress video on XORA. This will be my fourth progress video in this series. Anyways, before we get into today's video, as usual, I will be giving away 100 credits. There will be two different winners winning 50 of these credits each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community Discord, in the servers Discord, and on my pinned comment. The links of Discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure you join those. And we are going to start off the episode with another killing 99 as you can see there is 99 herb lord now completed now there is one thing that i actually haven't checked out through the whole of the series which is actually quite nice the adventures log especially if you are a beginner player starting off by claiming this you only have 48 hours in-game play time and you'll get double bonus experience or combat experience i mean um this would have been very useful if i just prestige unfortunately i was too dumb and i missed out but anyways, I can also claim myself another mon uh, Monster Mystery Box Tier 2. Moving on, I can also claim myself a 0.05% drop rate bonus because I completed a Featherfall Bow as a rare drop. And then moving on, uh, unfortunately, I can't claim the top hat yet because I need 50 votes and I only have 35 so far. Now that was Benny's book, actually there is also Skilly's book right here as you can see and this will give me double skill XP, this would also been very useful um, before I actually completed this. You can also get a 0.10% drop rate bonus if you get a woodcutting pet. If you complete the Rocktail Catcher achievement, you will get an additional 5,000 achievement points just like that. And if you equip a prayer skill cape, I'll get myself 25 Ebon Chill Dragons, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, for the rest, these are PvPs. Unfortunately, don't have that much completed. But I do have 50 monsters in the wilderness, which will give me some more drop rate bonus in the wilderness as well. Uh, for the rest, I still have to complete a few tasks to get myself that bonus. Uh, and unfortunately the rest I haven't been able to unlock yet but I got this tier 2 uh, monster mystery box so if this could give us something great that would be absolutely amazing and we get ourselves oh I thought we were gonna get a lucky pickaxe unfortunate now wearing this prayer cape should complete that other adventure log that I still haven't claimed yet so let's go ahead and see and there we go I can claim myself 25 ebon chill dragon bones this is very useful for if I would prestige once again and normally we should hit ourselves 99 smithing with the next one and there we go that is another 99 out of the way all right so if I take those last two boxes then there we go I have 99 hunter completed now and we are about to hit ourselves 99 rune crafting which is our second to last 99 we only have farming and construction left which is actually two so this means 99 rune crafting wasn't second to last but um yeah two more 99s to go and we are maxed out and here we go we are finished on we are finishing off 99 construction there we go that's another 99 done all right so really quickly i'm going to buy myself an exorion full helm and also an exorion plate body now the reason why i'm doing this is because um i have an elite turbo plate body and an exorion full helm which aren't mine so with this i can give this back to the original owner and i can actually have my own set which i think is a lot better and we are about to kill yet another christmas sunfreed a loot would be nice and, um, and of course we just get a dragon to age anyways I have decided that because of this double experience I have to make the most of it and I will actually go ahead and prestige once again so I am once again 50 HP and um, 50 prayer points increased and also of course the additional bonuses right there so let's go ahead and prestige and I am now level 2 prestige which is absolutely amazing all right so Saladin is hosting a bunch of uh, boss events so a bunch of people will be killing the same boss at once and and um, we just killed ourselves a crystal. Oh, we didn't even do enough damage, man. I just prestige, so my stats are still freaking low. And here we go for the Haker Rim. And I actually got rewarded this time around. Unfortunately, no rare loots, though. And there we go. Someone got a pet. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. And there we go. We just got 99 prayer back. And there we go. Just got 99 strength back. My first combat 99. And there we go. We just finished off another um, Christmas free. We got ourselves some steadfast boots which is not too bad. Someone got an elite virtus rope top, so congrats to you, man. So we are about to hit 99 attack as well, which means that we have now maxed out another melee stat. So moving on to defense, my last melee 
how much that to reach 99 again and we hit 99 constitution as well that is another 99 out of the way and there we go that is 99 defense so that means we have maxed out our combat our melee stats again and here we go that is 99 magic out of the way once again and there we go 99 range has been completed which is the final 99 and that means we finished another prestige and normally this should give us 99 farming which gives us the max cape as you can see we just required uh we just finished all the requirements for the max cape which was also an achievement that gave us 25 a million cash and with this blink kill we have completed our first boss task which is actually really nice so let's go ahead and claim our rewards now i started doing boss tasks uh, because i just maxed out and yeah of course i need to make some more money now so i can upgrade my gear and stuff um, so yeah boss tasks is what i will be doing mainly because um yeah i just want to get some additional rewards on top of completing some boss kills so yeah there we go also another reason why i'm trying to make money is because yesterday freya one of my subscribers who actually won a giveaway gave me a tormented shield and i want to get myself a crystallic rapier to go with it because that would be such an amazing upgrade so that's why i'll need around 600 million cash and boss tasks will hopefully help me all the way through all right and there we go that's our final bando skill and um, that was actually an amazing task as you can see you get coins for each kill you also get these bone bones which are really nice for if i want a prestige again but also these god dehydes and i think these are actually worth quite a bit these, these are 75k each that's like another 1.5 mil which is amazing come on elderwood give me something good please let's go and uh, come on give me dark lord or something oh quib has got something though but this was also a daily task so i did get myself a daily mystery box which is really nice and christmas free should be dead in a second as well so that will give me another christmas cracker and an abyssal whip which is five mil that's not too bad and we are about to kill a christmas present as well which will give me another christmas cracker and hopefully one of these rare drops that would be absolutely amazing let's go ahead and see and we didn't get a rare drop we did get dragon claws though which is like another four mil anyways we got ourselves four of these daily mystery books so let's go ahead and open these we get some enchanted keys we get some tight night shards a razor whip and ranger wings that's not too bad to be honest now i do have some credits in my bank and i actually had 600 even though over my four videos that i have done i only had to give away 400 which means that i have 200 extra credits that i actually want to spend to get myself to a nether rank now i have to look through the store to see what is best but um i think i can can uh, i can come up with something really good okay so i don't find anything specific for 200 credits that is actually useful so i'm just going to buy four super mystery boxes and test my luck on those because those can actually give me some really good rewards like i can get wind strider i can get fluorescence and some of these other really good things so let's hope that we get lucky i'm going to use the spin interface for this one also normally i think this should have given me a donator rank i have to look into that i only got 10 mil cash that's not super good come on please give me something better than that um torva plate body that is not too bad at all i can sell that for some more monies let's get ourselves a um, fire strider wings let's go oh my god we just missed it 10 lava bars that's not too good either come on last box please give me something good and we are going to get ourselves oh that is actually sick a toxic crossbow all right so since that opening of that toxic crossbow i feel kind of lucky let's go ahead and open these and uh, nothing unfortunately but these will definitely give me something good please come on let's go give me something good and i i get nothing wow all right so i just typed tormented for looking for the price of a rapier but then i saw this long sword for 300 mil and i couldn't resist buying this one 300 mil for that tormented long sword that is actually super awesome and we are about to complete ourselves another hard achievement there we go that is done proficient thief 25 mil cash and another experience lamp which is kind of useless at the moment all right here we go kill count 20 at virago i wanted to do this for like 20 kills to see if i could get lucky unfortunately I didn't get lucky um, which means that I only made a couple of mil the loots on average though are quite good I think I made about seven or eight mil but this took me about an hour and a half to do which is way too long for what I made so um, yeah Virago isn't really worth it for me at the moment now I actually just deposited all my cash and I have enough money to buy myself fire strider uh, wings as an upgrade so I just went ahead and done that I got a 1.7 mil cash left but it is all worth it because I have these new beautiful wings which give me a bonus of like 
almost 20 strand bonus which is absolutely amazing all right just got myself another tier 3 monster mystery box let's go ahead and get ourselves monster hunters dwarf axes or army axes or whatever it is hand axes come on let's go ahead and do them or oh, I, I thought it was gonna scroll through to a lucky pickaxe but only 10 mil cash god damn it Anyways, on that note, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. I made a lot of progress in this video, and I'm actually really happy to where we ended off with in this episode. But with all that said, I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.